Today we are checking out Aturius Augmented Strings, which is free until April 30th, 2022. So you know the vibes, you need to hurry up and get it. Download it now, link in the description box. And this marks a new era for their Augmented series. Augmented Strings sports a physical modeling synthesis that I haven't heard before. Physical modeling synthesis refers to the waveforms that can be generated by pure mathematical modeling. It's normally used for musical instruments, voices, and speech. The first time I found out about physical modeling was in the late 1980s, but it goes back as far as the early 70s. Science genius Hiller L. Ruse can be deemed as the founder of this audio engineering technique, while Julius O. Smith the third applied the science alongside with Yamaha. When Yamaha started using waveguides, it was limited to DSP. As we all know, we're in 2022 and computers are more powerful and the limitations have lowered. First impressions, I think it sounds pretty good. Let's go ahead and hear it. Yeah. So it has eight different functions or parameters that you can mess with. So let's start with color. Time. Motion. Effects B. Effects A. Delay and revert. Last but not least, warp. Yeah, sounds brilliant. To the left of the UI, you can press this hamburger menu where you're met with these options, such as save preset as, if you change any of the presets, then you can save it and then recall it later. You can resize the window, zoom out, zoom in, from 50% all the way up to 200%. You have a help menu over here and you can pull up your user manual or FAQ and the about, which is important if you wanna find out who are the people behind this plugin. To the right of the UI, we have a cogwheel, which will extend the UI, and then you'll see settings. You have global settings where you can change the MIDI channel. You can enable automation, uh, turning it on. So I'm gonna turn it on so you can see how the UI looks like. And if you pay attention to the bottom right of the UI, you can see the CPU usage. So this is how it looks like when it's on. And this is how it looks like when it's off. So it's a great way to save CPU or any of your virtual memory uh, this way because physical modeling isn't the most CPU friendly synthesis we have. However, you can go to polyphony and change the poly count so that you can get a little bit more voices in or out of it and you can choose to voice steal. So reassigning your voices just in case you wanna play any chords and not give away a certain note. Bending range, glide time, glide mode are also other features that you can change. And MPE settings. If you go over to the MIDI tab, uh, you can change any of the MIDI configurations in the MIDI controller that you have, and you can map it to your MIDI controller too as well and add controls. But I know why you're here. You want to listen to this plugin. So let's do that. So let's check out some presets here.
One of the things that I was trying to point out earlier is it is CPU intensive and it's kind of a hard thing when it comes to uh, physical modeling. I mean, I mean, it's modeling in a real object. So in this case, let's look at it. And as I add more voices, you'll see. So as you can see, it is CPU intensive to the sense that if you play a lot of voices in your chord progressions, then yeah, it's going to take up a large chunk. And you have to put in consideration that I am screen recording too. And also that it will vary in experience because you might have a computer that is optimized for it. I mean, I have a two year old uh, Lenovo Legion Y540 that does have a i7 uh, hexacore processor inside of it. However, at this time and age, given 2022 and all that, eh, it, it works good enough. And you do have the option of going over here to the far right top part of the UI, hitting the cogwheel and enabling animation or turning it off. And that will save you some voices or a CPU. And you can also change the amount of polyphony here as well. So yeah, change it to poly three, do whatever you need to get the results that you want, because this does sound amazing. So, tell me how you feel about this plugin. I definitely wanna hear from you guys in the comment section. Uh, as far as my critiques, uh, the one thing I did notice is it did take up a lot of CPU usage, which is the nature of physical modeling. Remember, this isn't just like taking a regular sample and x fading it. It's straight up like modeling a real object or at least the sound of it so as far as that goes that is pretty tough and since after april 30th it's will be up for a purchase do i, do I, do I give do this give, give, the give, dj at mccree stamp of approval. approval i would say about 80 percent